Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all His benefits. It is He who forgives all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come in this Eucharistic celebration with humble and contrite hearts, believing in God's loving mercy and forgiveness. And so, as we begin this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sinfulness and ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Rejoicing in this annual celebration of our Lenten observance, we pray, O Lord, that with our hearts set on the Paschal Mysteries, 
we may be gladdened by their full effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Come, let us return to the Lord. It is he who has rent, but he will heal us. He has struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days, and the third day he will raise up us to live in his presence. Let us know, let us strive to know the Lord, as certain as the dawn is his coming, and his judgment shines forth like the light of day. Who will come to us like the rain, like spring rain that waters the earth? What can I do with you, Ephraim? What can I do with you, Judah? Your fight is like a morning cloud, like the dew that early passes away. For this reason, I smote them through the prophets. I slew them by the words of my mouth. For it is love that I desire, not sacrifice, and knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness, in the greatness of your compassion, and wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. It is mercy I desire, and not sacrifice. For you are not pleased with sacrifices, should I offer burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Be bountiful, O Lord, to Zion in your kindness by rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. Then shall you be pleased with due sacrifices, burnt offerings, and holocaust. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Please stand. Kapag ngayon'y napakinggan ang tinig ng buong mahal, huwag na itong pahatlangan ang pagsasakatubaran ang itinig kalubaran. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself, O oh God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven but beat his breast and prayed, 
O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Our Lord Jesus Christ, in our Gospel passage today, differentiates Himself from the attitude of the Pharisee in our Gospel passage today. Parabang tinitingnan niya ang pag-uugali ng Pariseyo at parang tinuturo niya sa mga alagad niya, iba ang ugali ng Diyos. Iba ang gawi ng Diyos sa Pariseyo na ito. What was the attitude of the Pharisee? In our Gospel passage today, Jesus, we see that in this parable, the Pharisee was convinced of his own righteousness and despised everyone else. Sino lang ang minamakal niya? Ang sarili niya. He was only convinced of his own self, of his own righteousness, but he despised everyone else. In fact, even in his prayer, he was praising himself and he hates everyone because he said, I thank you, God, because I am not like the rest of people, greedy, dishonest, adulterous. I am not like them. I am not like these sinners. What is the attitude of the Pharisee? He loved himself. He despised everyone else. But Jesus reminds us today, God does not despise. God does not hate. God does not espouse anger. Instead, God loves. Even sinners, And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, I think this is what Jesus wants us to be reminded. That God does not despise you. God loves you. Madalas po kapag tayo ay pupunta ng simbahan, minsan may takot, may pangamba na baka hindi ako tanggapin ng Diyos. Baka galit ang Diyos sa akin. Baka namumuhi ang Diyos sa akin. Lalo na kapag naiisip natin ng ating mga kasalanan, naaalala natin yung mga maling ginawa natin, ang naiisip natin, baka galit ang Diyos sa akin. Pero magandang paalala ang kwento ni Jesus sa Ebanghelyo natin ngayon. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay hindi namumuhi, nagagalit sa iyo, kundi ang Panginoong Diyos ay nagmamahal. If the Pharisee showed to his brothers and sisters that he despises them, Jesus now teaches us, God does not despise, He only loves. And with this love, my dear brothers and sisters, comes forgiveness and 
conversion. In our first reading today from the book of the prophet Hosea, the prophet reminds the people of Israel that they should come back to the Lord because the Lord will renew them, will change them. According to the prophet, He will revive us, He will heal us, He will bind our wounds. And after two days, on the third day, He will raise us up. This imagery of healing, of binding the wounds, of raising up on the third day, all of these are images of conversion and renewal. Conversion and renewal that is based on the love of God. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay hindi namumuhi sa atin, kundi nagmamahal sa atin. At dahil sa kanyang pag-ibig, ang gusto niya sa isang makasalanan ay hindi maparusakan, kundi baguhin niya ang isang makasalanan. Yan ang pagmamahal ng Diyos. Ganyan kalawak, ganyan kalaki, ganyan kalalim ang pagmamahal ng Diyos. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, the Pharisee would just like to punish the tax collector. But God has a different mind. God has a different heart. He does not want to punish because He does not despise. He wants to change you. He wants to renew your life because He loves you. My dear brothers and sisters, in this season of Lent, we focus on asking God's forgiveness. We focus on penance, on doing sacrifices, so that we could ask forgiveness for our sins. But let us always remember that we ask the Lord for forgiveness because God loves us. Baka po, humihingi tayo ng patawad sa Diyos kasi iniisip natin, galit na ang Diyos sa atin. Pero paalala ni Jesus ngayon, ang Panginoong Diyos hindi namumuhi sa inyo, kundi ang Panginoong Diyos ay laging nagmamahal kahit sa mga makasalanan. At ang pagmamahal na ito na ating nilalapitan ay magiging sanhi ng pagbabagong buhay natin. Ang nais ng Diyos, hindi tayo maparusakan. Ang nais ng Diyos, magbago, mapabuti ang ating mga puso at ang ating buhay. Ganyan kalawak, ganyan kalalim ang pagmamahal ng Diyos. And so later, my dear brothers and sisters, as we come to the Eucharistic table, when Jesus tells us, this is my body given up for you. This is my blood poured out on the cross for you. He is reminding you, I do not despise you. I do not hate you. In fact, I have given my life for you. That is God's love. And this love should lead us to renew ourselves to conversion of mind and heart based on the love of Jesus. As we continue this celebration of the Mass, we come to the Lord trusting and believing that He does not despise us. He loves us. Amen. Please stand. With contrite 
and humble hearts, we stand in the presence of God. Let us respond to these intentions with humble and sincere prayer. For every petition, let us say, Let your mercy flow to us, O Lord. Let your mercy flow to us, O Lord. That the Church may be sure heaven for sinners and outcasts. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your, your mercy, mercy flow to, to us, us, O Lord. Lord. That public servants may show special concern for the women, children, orphans, the elderly, and the homeless. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your mercy flow to us, to us O Lord. Lord. That believers may deepen their prayer and penance, especially in this season of Lent. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your, your mercy flow to us, to us O Lord. Lord. That the sea may experience the healing power of Christ and thus give them hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your, your mercy flow to, to us, O Lord. Lord. That those who have died may enjoy light, happiness, and peace in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your, your mercy flow to us, to us O Lord. Lord. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Father, you search our hearts and discern our needs. In your mercy, grant what we ask in prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, by whose grace it comes to pass, that we may approach your mysteries with minds made pure. Grant, we pray, that in reverently handing them on, we may offer you fitting homage. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you 
in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only, only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May we truly revere, O merciful God, these holy gifts by which you ceaselessly nourish us and may we always partake of them with abundant faith in our heart through christ our lord amen we would like to thank all those who have joined us in this celebration and also those who are watching us through the online streaming of this celebration of the mass and again, uh, we are reminding everyone to take care of ourselves. The, the cases of, of the new patients of COVID-19 are uh, alarmingly rising, and we really, we really need to take care of each other. So we remind everyone to follow our uh, health protocols and uh, do not uh, go out of the house if it is not necessary so that uh, we could uh, stem this, uh, this alarming rise of cases every day. And we ask the Lord Jesus Christ 
and Our Lady to protect us always and keep us away from any harm and from any disease. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Hold out to your faithful people, Lord, the right hand of heavenly assistance that they may seek you with all their heart and merit the granting of their requests. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Yeah.